Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond! I know that things have been pretty quiet around here for a while, but I promise you that I've been hard at work to make sure that the next series of LPs are some of the best that I've ever created. Things will finally start livening up around here soon, so thank you all so much for your patience. But before we talk about what LPs will be coming soon, I'd like to make a very special announcement! Those of you who've been on my channel for any amount of time probably have seen Mackie in some of my videos. Mackie is my little assistant of sorts, who pops up whenever the opportunity arises for, say, a gag, or whenever something needs to be corrected in my commentary. <laughs> He's been in my videos since the very beginning, appearing as early as my very first Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, but instead in the form of YouTube annotations. <laughs> Starting in Kirby's Adventure in Donkey Kong Country, Mackie got upgraded to have his annotations become implanted into the videos themselves. Fast forward to my 7th Let's Play, Chibi Robo, I finally commissioned a personal friend of mine to give Mackie a physical entity. And that's the character you see right here. That was almost 5 years ago, and I've used this same single drawing of this character in almost every single Let's Play since then. As for where the name Mackie comes from, I honestly have no idea. But the boo with the knight's hat has always stuck with me. As you all know, I'm kind of a fan of the Knights franchise, and as for the Boo, he was the first character I ever played as in my very first Mario game, Mario Party 5. I always liked Boos because I liked how they were either 100% introverted or 100% extroverted. When looking away, they're very active and expressive, but when your eyes are locked on them, they're shy and can't even move. I guess I sort of related to it in a way, since I'm very shy in real life, but Let's Playing has given me the opportunity to be more outgoing and has helped me develop my voice. I really liked the idea of having an animated assistant character, not necessarily an online alter ego that was made to represent myself, but rather a second being altogether that helps me along. I guess you could consider Mackie to be the beyond of Midnight and Beyond. <laughs> However, as we enter the second half of my Let's Play journey, I think it's finally time we've made some changes around here. <laughs> Mackie, you are officially free to go. You are no longer needed as my assistant. You've been a great help to me over the years, but I'd like to introduce a brand new assistant who will be making the journey with me from year 7 onward. At long last, I'd like to finally introduce... La 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 Good morning! Say hello to Teresa Bell, the new assistant and sidekick of Midnight and Beyond. Some of you may have already seen this character being used as my head icon for the collaboration channel Viz Nomadic. Well that wasn't meant to be an all new design for Mackie, but it was in fact an all new character that I would soon be bringing to my own channel. <laughs> Teresa is a lot more expressive than Mackie. Rather than having just one single expression, Teresa has a wide variety of expressions that she could use. Not only that, but I could give her additional accessories and props depending on the scenario she appears in. This will make the interactions and gags in videos a lot more lively. <gasps> While she is very similar to Mackie, I tried to pull away from the Boo and Knights designs. I still very much like ghosts and circus themes, so I didn't want to change the design too much from Mackie. At one point, I considered giving Teresa a new hat for every LP she appeared in, but then I realized that having a cute round character with different hats has already been done, if you catch my drift. And before you say anything, let me just say that this has been in the works long before Super Mario Odyssey was even announced. So you can imagine my frustration when that game was announced and it was all about these ghosts that were wearing hats. Yeah. <laughs> the first idea for the Teresa design actually came from my dear friend Jordi Bordichan. She was making a new Twitter icon for herself and she wanted to include drawings of some of her friends within it. I was fortunate enough to be one of those friends, and within her new icon was a very adorable picture of Mackie. I then asked Jordi if she would be interested in helping me develop the character of Teresa, and from there onward it was a very long development cycle. <laughs> I wanted the character to have a kind and friendly personality, unlike Mackie who's very sassy and sarcastic with his backseat gaming. I wanted Teresa to be more of a bright and sweet assistant type of character, I took inspiration from several of my favorite video game characters when looking for what type of personality I wanted and what types of expressions I would need in her template. Once that was settled, we started working on forming her design. 
Jordy went ahead and began developing some rough sketches of Teresa. She stayed more or less the same throughout development, the biggest change being her eyes. It took a while to settle on what those would look like. I consulted my friend Digi Valentine, who's got a keen eye for character design, and he helped me settle on the design that you see here today. Digi runs a show on his channel called Who Dat, where he goes over the visual designs and characteristics of all kinds of different characters. Be sure to check him out, he does great work. <coughs> one thing about Teresa's design that was a bit of an accident, however, was her bow tie. In one of Jordy's sketches, it looked like that she had given Teresa a little bow tie, and I thought it looked super adorable and praised her for the idea. But then Jordy clarified that those were meant to be her stubby little hands. <laughs> It was a funny mistake on my part, but I loved the idea so much, so I asked her to implement it into the final design. As for the name Teresa Bell, believe it or not, Boo's official Japanese name is actually Teresa. Why that is, I have no idea. As for the Bell part, it's in reference to the Boo Bell from Mario Party. While she isn't a Boo herself, that's always been one of my favorite random pieces of trivia, so I knew that I would want to give her the name Teresa. At long last, the rough sketches were finished, and Teresa was ready to be put into production. Or so we thought. Unfortunately, both Jordy and myself were just super stinking busy, and we didn't really make much progress after the rough draft stage. I actually wanted Teresa to appear on my channel as early as year 4, but we just both kept on putting off her production, and it just never happened. As the halfway point for my Let's Play journey was coming closer and closer to happening, I really wanted to make sure that Teresa debuted no later than the beginning of year 7. So I asked Jordy if it would be okay to reach out to someone else to finish this project. She graciously said yes, and it was on to phase two. But Teresa never would have gotten to where she is today if it weren't for Jordy. So please go check her out and thank her for all the work that she did in bringing Teresa to life. <coughs> now for the final stretch, I reached out to my friend Sir Lindsay and asked if she would be willing to finish what Jordy and I had started. She happily agreed and things started moving once again. In such a short amount of time, Teresa had been fully drawn out and was finally complete. Lindsay did an incredible job and in such a short amount of time. I can't thank her enough for all the hard work she did and I'm so happy with the end result. Be sure to tell her thanks and check out all the other things that she's been working on. <coughs> now that Teresa's expressions were all finished, all that was left to do was give her a voice. Like I said, I don't like to think of Teresa as a boo, so I didn't want to use the boo sound effects like I did for Mackie. I also don't want people to see this character as myself, so I wanted to make sure that it was somebody else providing the voice. You all know how much I love my guest voice actors on this channel, and I wanted to make sure that Teresa's voice was perfect. I reached out to a voice actor that I had heard in an LP that a friend of mine did a few years back. I asked if she would be interested in providing the voice of Teresa, and she kindly agreed. The person providing the voice for Teresa is the one and only Danny Chambers. She has her own Let's Play channel known as Skinny Mini that has tons of amazing ongoing projects, and she also provided the voice of Tracy in the finale of my Let's Play of Earthbound. Not only that, but she's also provided her voice and acting talents in several anime dubs, video games, and theater performances. I am over the moon excited and grateful to have such an amazing voice actress provide her talents to my channel, and I can't thank you enough for being a part of this. <coughs> now that you're all caught up, it's time for Teresa to finally begin her regular appearances on my channel. But not only that, it's time to say goodbye to our good friend Mackie. <laughs> well Mackie, we sure had a lot of exciting adventures together on this channel. You'll certainly be missed around here. Even if she's gonna be the new assistant on my channel, she won't be replacing the space that you filled. You were your own unique, individual entity. What Teresa brings to this channel won't be something better, but it'll be something entirely new and what you provided over the years won't disappear over time. Your hard work won't be forgotten, and people will certainly miss you. <laughs> Thank you all so much to everyone who's provided fan art of Mackie over the years, or to anyone who simply enjoyed the idea of the character. I hope you'll enjoy Teresa just as much while also remembering all that took place in order to bring her here. Is there anything you'd like to say before you take off, Maggie? <coughs> Thank you, my friend. Your work here is officially complete. Enjoy the journey of wherever life takes you next. Okay, now that that's taken care of, it's time to get back to work and finally begin releasing the Let's Plays of Year 7. 
Teresa, are you ready to go? <laughs> Thank you all so much for your patience and support. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all very soon with something entirely new. Good night, sweet dreams.